And welcome, ladies and gentlemen, joining us on the live stream today. Sorry for the late ad. We had to shut down, restart. We got it all set. Just went through the introduction of today's starting lineups. And uh, Sierra College has taken the field. Getting ready for the beginning of the game. Managers are still out there talking with the umpire crew. Getting it wrapped up, and uh, there we go. Team or the uh, meeting at the plate has concluded. And so, see the officials walking over there to the dugouts, taking the last couple of minutes. Evan Odin starting on the mound today for the Wolverines. Stretched out. All right, give me a ball, at least. Let me uh, stay warm. We are just about ready to go as the Wolverines taking on the visiting Folsom Lake College Falcons in game one of a three-game set this week between these two teams. I am your stadium announcer here at Sierra College, Willie Preston, also doing the live stream. Double duty and triple duty if you count uh, DJ along with Sebastian Edwards in the booth, handling the scoreboard duties and official spotters since he's young and I'm old, I can't see. Falcons come into this one doing pretty darn good in Big 8 play. 21 and 10 overall, eight and six on the road. They really came into their own as uh, they started up conference play 12 and 3 against Big 8 opponents. Sierra, on the other hand, comes in 13 and 18. And uh, it's been pretty rough last couple of weeks. 5 and 12 overall in conference. And they are trying to get that. Uh, Losing streak broken today, sometime this week. They got to get this thing broken. Last of the warm up pitches thrown, and it looks like we're just about ready to get our first pitch from Evan Oden. Now batting for the Falcons, number 30, shortstop, Logan Pruski. And it looks like Pruski is right there. Okay, camera's working. I think we're set, folks. First pitch from Odin. It's a grounder to the third baseman. Throw is off. White made the stop, but threw wide to Carter, and so he pulled away. Now batting number 11, left fielder Braden Frank. First pitch outside to Frank from Odin. Two and all the count to Frank. Actually, Sebastian, could you just close that door? They got that cranked up over there. Three and oh, three straight balls from Evan Odin to Logan Frank. Frank is batting second. We heard Pruski leading off for the Falcons. He'll be followed by the right fielder, Michael Ryan, batting third today. And that one's high, four straight. 
Balls, that is going to walk and put two on for the Falcons. Pitching coach going to walk right out, have a conversation with Evan. Not a good way to start the game. Try and straighten that out before it goes any further. Having a quick conversation. What's going on? What do you think? All right. No problem. Let's go on back and try this again. Okay. Third batter. No outs. And strike one to number one, Michael Ryan. It's slow and away, one and one. Michael Ryan batting 369 on the season. Fourth best on the team. Swings, pops this one high up into left field. Going back to get it and making the grab is Brady Ranello, starting for the Wolverines today. Mason Oliphant, usual starter out there and left. Has the day off. Now batting number 21, catcher Nate Vargas. So runners on first and second with one out. And the catcher, Nate Vargas, steps to the plate. Vargas, who sits just above Ryan in the Stat sheet there. He is out. Not going to call that interference or anything, but so the runner at second is out. Now batting number 23, first baseman Max Dubeck. So reaching on the fielder's choice is Vargas there at first. And the lead runner, Pruski, is on third. Strike one to start things off. Two to back. Wings sending that one. It drops into shallow center. It's going to score Pruski from third. So an RBI and a base hit all at the same time. Leads things off for the Falcons, 1-0. Now batting number zero, center fielder Quincy Marlboro. Sai, one and one. It's 
Balls outside, two and one. Give it the Wolverines defensive starters today. Mentioned uh, there's some changes out there. Coach Evo trying to shake some things up for the Wolverines, seeing what's going to be the winning combination to try and uh, uh, change the slump that they are in. Again, Brady Ranello starting today in left field. Zach Jenkins in center, normal center fielder starter. Uh, but starting today in right field, Aiden Kolbeck. Starting at third today for Sierra, Elijah White at short, Masayuki Kawashima. Second base, Anthony Martinez. First baseman, the trooper, Devin Carter. And behind the plate, number seven, Brad Morris. And then again, Evan Oden, who we've seen. Number of starts for the Wolverines. Uh, this is his, well, it only says two starts. I thought he had a couple more, but no, I guess that maybe, maybe that's it. He has, uh, made a number of appearances later in the game in relief, and that's going to be a walk for Marlboro. So as he walks, that will load the bases up for the Falcons. Now batting number nine, third baseman, Tyler Allen. Two outs. Bases loaded. Falcons lead this one 1-0 one on top of the first. And Allen swings on that first pitch. It goes into center right. And Aiden Kolbeck running back gets it the right fielder, and so that will end this one. Falcons only have the one-run lead. It could have been a lot more, so Odin able to escape that one. We're going to come back bottom of the first. Wolverines get their chance to respond. Leading off for the Wolverines, number 19, Zach Jenkins. Dang, that thing is just glaring. First pitch kind of sails to Jenkins, so that's going to be ball one. Ryan Edwards starting on the mound today for Folsom Lake. There's strike one, one and one. Again, we'll take you through the Falcons defensive lineup. In left field, Braden Frank, you saw, who was the uh, second batter that we've seen today. Starting in left, Jenkins drops the bunt down, but 
pulls it back, thinking it was in time. Sorry, strike two. Starting in center field, Quincy Marlboro. And in right field, Michael Ryan. Across the infield, we have third baseman Tyler Allen. At second base, Kobe Rowling. And we see the swing and a miss from Zach Jenkins. And that'll sit him down with the strikeout. Now batting number 14, left fielder Brady Renello. Renello swings on the first pitch, sending it down the first base line. Foul. I think I left off at second base for the Falcons. Playing first, number 23, Max Dubeck. Behind the plate, the catcher, Nate Fargus. And Ryan Edwards on the mound. Pitch from Edwards comes in low, one and one. Cheap Band-Aids checking in. Go Wolverines. Get the lead and keep it. Going to be a battle today. Always a good battle. Folsom Lake. One of the closest teams uh, geographically here, but also consistently tough in the Big Eight. This was the other representative from Northern California in the Final Four last year. Sierra and Folsom Lake. And another strikeout. Now batting for the Wolverines, shortstop Masayuki Kawashima. First swing and gets to the second baseman. Able to get it back to first in time for the out. One, two, three. And we're going to go to the top of the second. Folsom Lake in the early lead, 1-0. Leading off the second inning for the Falcons, designated hitter Austin Minasini. And we're back. Falcons in the lead, 1-0 on top of the second. 
Minasini swings at that first pitch from Evan Oden, sending it skyward into shallow second. And making the catch is Jenkins for out number one. Now batting number seven, second baseman Kobe Rowling. And if I was correct, I think both of them were playing this summer for the Lincoln Potters, both uh, Odin and Menasini, uh, teammates over this last summer. There's ball one to Kobe Rowling. Swings on that next pitch, sending it back foul off to the left-hand side. Kind of breezy here. Uh, you took a look at the American flag flying in left field. It's just, just hanging right now. There's strike one, or strike two, excuse me. That pitch drifts well outside, two and two. Kobe Rowling, 5'7", 170, sophomore from Vacaville High School. Gets a hold of that, sending it foul. I think over there towards his dugout. He'll come back, get another shot at that. Two and two with one out, nobody on, top of the second. Here's the pitch from Odin. Outside, three and two. Well, once again, sorry, folks, didn't get to join you on Saturday, and so Saturday's game was not live streamed. That pitch also outside, and that's going to give rolling base on balls. And we'll return to the top of the order for the Falcons. Now batting number 30, shortstop Logan Pruski. So Pruski, who accounts for the one run on the scoreboard, comes to the plate, reached on an E5 in his first at bat. That pitch going to be outside, ball one. Runner goes, but it is fouled back off to the right. So Kobe Rowling will return. Rowling only has one stolen base on the year. That pitch low. Brad Morris, the catcher, looks over there at first, but didn't appear rolling was going anywhere. Pitch was outside, and the immediate pick back to first. They saw rolling with uh, that leadoff. Three and one to count. Again, that one's going to be out and another walk. So two straight batters walked for the Falcons. Now batting number 11, left fielder Braden Frank.
Swings on that one, sending it foul. Come back, try it again. Pitch outside, one and one. In top of the second inning here in Rockland, game one between these two teams. And that one sent foul high up off to the left-hand side. Count one and two. Now to the left fielder, Braden Frank, who walked in his first at-bat today. Another pitch outside, two and two. Swing and a miss. And so Frank will sit down and be the first out of the second inning. Or second out of this inning. Now batting number one, right fielder Michael Ryan. Swing and hits it right to the third baseman. Elijah White makes the grab. Kind of pulls it out, hits that thing low and right under the glove. And so great job, Elijah White. Go to the bottom of the second. Falcons leading 1-0. And leading off of the Wolverines, number 25, designated hitter, Connor Smith. Connor Smith leading things off today for the Wolverines in the second inning. That's going to be strike one. Smith will be followed by the first baseman, Devin Carter, and second baseman, Anthony Martinez. That one just misses outside, one and one. Pretty darn close, though. You could see the umpire kind of looking. Pitcher shakes his head. Nope. Just a little out. Swings. Chops that one fouled off to the left-hand side.
Nice day, as always. People bringing the umbrellas out here. It's either sunny or on the edge of sprinkling, but there's no in-between. And the strikeout for Connor Smith. Catcher kind of fumbled around there for it initially, but made the throw down. Now batting for Sierra College, first baseman Devin Carter. First pitch, ball one to Carter. And there is a strike. Pitch inside, three and one now to Devin Carter. And there's another one. So Carter gets the walk. Now batting for Sierra College, second baseman, Anthony Martinez. Pitch is low, ball one, down in the dirt. Umpire jumped up out of the way because he thought that one was going through. Oh, that went a little bit too far inside. So Martinez gets one the hard way off the arm. Mm -hmm. Our first hit by pitch of the day. Now batting for Sierra College, third baseman Elijah White. First pitch to White, well outside. It's almost outside the batter box. As Nate Vargas kind of dives out there to the right. Good stop for Vargas. Down the middle, but it's going to be high for ball two. Catcher calls timeout, and coach is coming out too. Both going to come out and have a talk with Ryan Edwards, the starting pitcher today for Falcons. Two on and one out so far in Wolverines, and with good chance, trying 
move some runners around and get something on the scoreboard. Okay, so we're back. Quick one. Two and all the count. And White swings on that one, sending it back foul. <laughs> Runners at first and second for the Wolverines, and that pitch... Low in the dirt, gets away from Vargas, but the runners both stay. Kept that ball in front of him and had no problem in getting to it. Three and one the count. And that one swung at, sending it foul down the left-hand side. It bounces off the fence that separates the field of play from the visitor bullpen here at Sierra. I hope you folks are able to hear me okay today. That one foul down the left once again. Cheap Band-Aids, you able to hear today? I hope so. Never sure. Swing and a miss. So instead gets the strikeout. Now batting for the Wolverines, catcher Bradley Morris. Oh, wonderful. Thank you very much. Always kind of wonder, first pitch to strike there to Morris. We had uh, some tech issues there before the game and had to do a quick restart, reboot the whole computer and... As uh, we start flying through those things a little too quick, sometimes uh, things don't work right. So <laughs> I'd like to make sure. Did not get the chance to do the sound check. Big swing and a miss. So and two to Brad Morris. Aiden Colbeck, the right fielder, is on deck. And that one hit foul, 0-2 to Morris. Oh, and 2 two outs and two runners on. Fastball comes in low. One and two. Swing and a miss, and he gets the strikeout. Second strikeout in a row for Edwards. That talk must have worked. We'll go to the top of the third. Falcons holding that lead 1 0. What the hell? Palmer.
Now on the mound for Sierra College, number 33, Grayson Farmer. Leading off for the Falcons, number 21, catcher Nate Vargas. And so we're back, top of the third inning. Nate Vargas, the catcher, starting things off for Folsom Lake. New pitcher Grayson Palmer on the mound deals strike one to Vargas. Evan Oden sits down after two innings, and he'll swing on that pitch, sending it skyward into the shortstop, Masayuki Kawashima. Catches that pop-up and gets the out. Now batting number 23, first baseman Max Beck. So you take a look at Dubiak, who's a first baseman. Six seven and he hits that little grounder over to the third baseman, making the throw in time. Elijah White to Devin Carter for the out. Six foot seven. He's got quite the wingspan there, and you could see him as he kind of jogs by everybody. The guy is huge. Now batting number zero, center fielder Quincy Marlboro. First pitch, strike one to Marlboro. Grayson Palmer coming in in relief of Odin. Odin, who had a 458 ERA on the day, is followed on the chart by Palmer, who comes in with a 6.0 ERA. Palmer has no starts but has seen seven appearances so far for Sierra College. Two and one now to Marlboro. Again, we're in the top of the third inning, Folsom Lake with a 1-0 lead. Marlboro belts that one. High up into left field and making the out for the Wolverines is Brady Ranello. Come back for the bottom of the third. Sierra trying to get up onto the board.
Now batting for Sierra College, right fielder Aiden Colbeck. Aiden Colbeck to get things started for Sierra College with a new walk up song today. So that always means good things. Gets a hold of that first one, but unfortunately, sending it foul down the left hand side. Colbeck in his ninth start for the Wolverines. Usually sees action there at center field in relief of Jenkins, but uh, today getting the start in right. Batting 214 on the year. Two and one to count. It's high. Full count to Colbeck. And so Colbeck gets the walk. Now batting for Sierra College, number 19, center fielder, Zach Jenkins. Well, Colback has a lot of appearances, although he usually comes in as a pinch runner for the Wolverines, usually the first choice for pinch running. There is strike one to Jenkins, who showed bunt. Oh, and two count to Jenkins. Again, shows the punt, pops it back to the fence. Catcher's pointing down, saying something. I'm not sure exactly what. Ball chopped down, came back. Foul ball. Talking about the bounce, I'm not sure. Well, regardless, it's one and two. No outs, and Colbeck is on second.
That one comes in just outside, two and two. Brady Ranello on deck, the left fielder for Sierra. Again, Zink Jenkins drops the bat, but pulls it back in time. Full count now to Zach Jenkins. Edwards, who is the starter for Folsom Lake, looks over. Again, got himself into trouble in the last inning. And pulled out a couple strikeouts after a conversation on the mound. Swing and Jenkins ball will sail backwards. Another foul ball. Three and two. Another foul. Jenkins getting his money worth today. Pitch this time Jenkins fouls it off to the right hand side. And moreover, the ball is in front of him as opposed to coming backwards. Swing, sending that one over to the tall first baseman who is able to run back and make the tag himself for the out. Now batting for Sierra College, number 14, left fielder Brady Ranello. Well, the hit down the first baseline uh, allowed Aiden Kolbeck to move over to third and now is 90 feet away from trying to tie this one up. One out on the board. And that pitch apparently wasn't high enough for a ball. That's going to be strike one, one and one. Swing, little grounder over to the third baseman who throws back home. Yeah. Throws to Vargas. Vargas unable to get the ball down in time. Colbeck will score, and this game is tied. It was close. I mean, it, there, there's no doubt about it, but the ball was thrown high. Vargas swung the ball down trying to get it back down in time and unable to get it down there. So says the man standing over the plate. Now batting for Sierra College, shortstop Masayuki Kawashima. Also swings, fouling that one back to the net.
Ball down low in the dirt. Vargas able to pick it up, get it back, no problem. Yeah, sa sadly, our simple video uh, really doesn't allow us to do replays on that. That one gets way off Vargas's knee pad and. Huh? I I don't think he was that far along. Little grounder over to first. Gonna move Ranello to third. And that will bring up, now batting, number 25, designated hitter, Connor Smith. So a stolen base and a sacrifice. That gets Ranello in position on third to potentially take the lead for the Wolverines. But there's going to be strike one to Connor Smith. Again, we're here in the bottom of the third inning. Folsom Lake came out early in that first. Put up one. Had bases loaded. But Evan Oden was able to shut things down before it went any further. Held it to the one run. Neither team would score in the second. And Sierra would put up one here in the third. Smith swings, sending that one high and fouled off into the soccer field here, off to the right-hand side. Again, these two teams uh, were the two teams that faced each other back in the Final Four. Although very different-looking teams. Grounder over to the shortstop, makes the throw in time to first, and that will end the third as we are tied at one, going to top of the fourth, tied 1-1. Leading off to fourth inning for Folsom Lake, number nine, third baseman Tyler Allen.
First pitch from Grayson Palmer to Tyler Allen, just outside. Ball one. Allen, the number seven batter in the order, will be followed by Austin Minasini and Kobe Rowling. Next pitch drifts inside. Reno. Four straight balls for the walk. And Allen gets the free base. Now batting number 28, designated hitter Austin Minasini. Checks up over first base on Tyler Allen. Again, drops down the bat, showing the bunt, but bunts. Goes foul, and he will return along with Allen. Hear a lot of yelling behind us here in Rockland. That's the Sierra College softball field. Wolverines today taking on Santa Rosa. As that successful bunt laid down. He is out, but the runner moves over to second. So the sack bunt, call it a success. Now batting number seven, second baseman Kobe Rowling. From Palmer, strike one. <clears throat> that one drifts outside one and one. Just like the first strike, there is strike two. One and two now to Colby Rowling, second baseman for Folsom Lake. Swings on that pitch. Hits it into shallow left. And Brady Ronello comes in to make the grab. He had plenty of help ready. They were going back to help. But the catch is made and the runner stays. Now batting number 30, shortstop Logan Pruski. So back to the leadoff batter for the Falcons. 
walked in his last at bat, but again, that was with a different pitcher. First pitch to Pruski, strike one. That one just held on too long. You could see it and drifted outside one and one. Armor sets the lone runner on second. And he swings on that, sending it foul back to the Sierra dugout. One and two to Prusky with two outs. And that one misses two and two. Braden Frank, the left fielder, sits on deck. Should he get the opportunity? Did he go? No. Oh. The whole Sierra infield was walking off thinking, ah, come on, I think he went. Field umpire says otherwise. And so everybody comes back. Full count now to Logan Prusky. Swing and a miss, and that's a strikeout. We'll go to the bottom of the fourth, still tied 1-1 in Rockland. Leading off the bottom of the fourth inning for your Wolverines, number 20, first baseman, Devin Carter. Carter sends a chopper down the first baseline to his counterpart. Standing on the base and tagged out. Everybody was kind of wondering, okay, is this thing bouncing out or staying in? Well, it stayed in. Oops. Now batting for Sierra College, second baseman Anthony Martinez. 
Yes, I'm playing the wrong song. Strike one to Martinez. Ball on the lower side of the strike zone. Pretty much same place. You take a look at it, at least from here, you kind of wondering, okay, was that going to be low, ball one? No. Just about same spot. And so 0-2 oh now to Martinez, who swings on that one and sends it back foul. Elijah White, the third baseman, is on deck. This game is all tied 1-1 here in the bottom of the fourth inning in swing and a miss. Now batting for the Wolverines, number eight, Elijah White. Third ball drops in, and that'll be strike one. Cheap Band-Aids, way to go, Wolverines. Now get some more runs, please. Well, that's what they're trying to do right now. So see that swing, little pop over to the second baseman who's able to grab it out of the air for the out. So Sierra goes down one, two, three. They're in the fourth. And so we'll go to the top of the fifth inning, tied 1-1. One, one. Now on the mound for the Wolverines, number 24, Hayden Hughes. So Hayden Hughes relieves Grayson Palmer, who finished up there in the fourth. Two innings apiece for Evan Oden and then Grayson Palmer. And now Hayden Hughes steps in. Hughes with 14 appearances for Sierra College. You can go right down the ERA list for the Sierra pitching staff. And you got Odin, then Palmer, then Hughes, exactly the way they are showing up today. If you had to guess, put Tommy Martinez in next. He's the next one on the list. I'm just saying. It's I have no idea who's in the bullpen because uh, I can't see over the fence. And so the last pitch thrown up, thrown for the warm-ups. Leading off for Folsom Lake, number 11, left fielder Braden Frank.
Hawks outside. One and one now. Break with a walk and a strikeout. Yet to reach base today. Two and one. Sends that one high up into left field. Taking a couple of steps and making the catch. Brady Ranello. Now batting number one, right fielder, Michael Ryan. Michael Ryan, the 5'10", 195 freshman righty from Gridley High School. Not too many Gridley Bulldogs down in this area. But the one on the roster for the Falcons gets a hold of that, sends it. It's going to land there shallow left, and so he gets a base hit. That is his first hit of the day. Now batting number 21, catcher Nate Vargas. Only the second hit for the Falcons. Swing and a miss. Hughes check up on first. Not going to be in time. Row outside, one and one. Another pitch, a little further outside. Two and one now. Not too concerned with Michael Ryan, the base runner, over on first. Seven stolen bases so far on the year, second most on the Wolverines. Quincy Marlboro in, with the lead in that category. Attempt back first, and he is safe. So, seven stolen bases caught three times. Down in the dirt, and Morris makes the throw. Two second in plenty of time. Kawashima just kind of waiting there for him. Hey. So make that four times caught stealing. And there is the first or second out of the inning. Excuse me. <coughs> Swing and that one high up in the center field. Zach Jenkins with the grab. And we'll go to the bottom of the fifth. Still tied 1-1. One, one.
And the last of the warm-up pitches thrown. Brian Edwards, the starter for Folsom Lake, still on the mound. Leading off the fifth inning for the Wolverines, Brad Morris. Brad Morris, he'll be followed by Aiden Kolbeck and Zach Jenkins, 8 9, and back to 1 in the order. Starts off with the swing and the miss. Next pitch sent foul. Off to the left-hand side. And another one fouled off to the left. Oh, and to the count to Morris. That one, he looked back and it was like, hey, was that outside? Mm, apparently not. Now batting for the Wolverines, number one, right fielder Aiden Colbeck. First pitch strike one to Colbeck. Strike two. And there's strike three. Two strikeouts in a row for Edwards. Now batting for the Wolverines, center fielder Zach Jenkins. Jenkins sends that one to the fence. It's going all the way back. It's gone. Well, gave the little look back. I'm not sure what that was, if he didn't like the uh, walk-up music going a little longer or what. But Jenkins said, thank you very much for that little stutter step. I'm going to send this one out of here. Now batting for Sierra College, left fielder Brady Ranello. First pitch, strike one to Ranello. What is going on? Yeah, they're going over there. Do we have too many people? 
hanging out there in the field of play? I'm not really sure. You really can't see it on the uh, camera. Big home run by Zach Jenkins, and the Wolverines take the lead. And another, that's three strikeouts in the inning. Didn't think he was uh, going to get rung up on that, but he did. So let's see who's coming back out. Leading off the sixth inning for the Falcons, number 23, first baseman, Max Dubiek. Well, again, Dubiek comes back up. And, and again, if I'm massacring the name, uh, somebody please let me know. From Seattle, Washington, the uh, 6'7", 215 sophomore. 6'7", 215, as you can tell. Pretty thin. It's got more of that volleyball player look. Swing sends that one foul off to the right hand side. Again, he'll send that one off to the right-hand side. It looks like that one might even hit the softball field. A little gift for the center fielder. <coughs> one and two the count. Hayden Hughes still on the mound for Sierra. That one high gets away from Morris. Two and two. Well, grounder down to first baseman. He makes the throw back to Hughes, covering for him, and gets out the Folsom Lake first baseman for the first out. Now batting, number zero center fielder Quincy Marlboro.
Swing, one hopper to the shortstop, makes the throw in time for the second out. Now batting number nine, third baseman, Tyler Allen. Allen walked in his last at bat, but was left on second. First pitch outside for ball one. And there's a strike, one and one. This is high, two and one. Going to go, starts the check swing. Field umpire says, yes, he did. So two and two. Tyler Allen, third baseman here in the roster. 5'10", 185 from Whitney High School here in Rockland. Swing that one in right field for the Aiden Colbeck out. And we'll go to the bottom of the sixth inning. Wolverines with the lead, 2-1. Carter Henninger now on the mound for Folsom Lake. He's a 6'3", 230-pound sophomore from Oak Ridge High School up in El Dorado Hills. Henninger, who has 34 innings pitched for Folsom Lake. No starts, but 18 appearances. Pretty steady relief work. Relieves the starter, Edwards. Now batting for the Wolverines, shortstop Masayuki Kawashima. Masa lays it down, drops it, coming back. Oh, I thought it was going to hit 
Us in the booth did not do so. Needless to say, strike one. He'll be followed by Connor Smith, the DH today, and first baseman Devin Carter. One and one to count, Tomasa. Swing, foul that one back to the net. One and two. Oh, called that one strike. Kawashima surprised. Now batting for the Wolverines, number 25, Connor Smith. One and one now to Connor Smith. Ranger set deals and pitch outside, two and one. Swing, that one foul down the left-hand side. See our base coach says, I got this. Two and two the count. Down the third baseline, the long throw from third in time for the out. Now batting for Sierra College, first baseman Devin Carter. First pitch to Carter, strike one. Next pitch misses high one and one. Beautiful day in Rockland, not a cloud. Well, at least over the field. And if we look off to the right-hand side, though, see a lot of wispiness. As we uh supposed to get a little bit more rain maybe this next week, right? This coming week, supposed to be a little more. Seems like we've had uh, sunny Tuesday games. And then Thursday, Friday, we get kind of questionable. They get canceled. They get delayed. Big hit to right. It's a shallow right, and indeed, the right field, they're able to slide over. And Michael Ryan with the third out. We'll come back to the seventh inning. Wolverines in the lead, 2-1.
Now on the mound for Sierra College, number four, Tommy Martinez. Leading off for the Falcons, number 28, Austin Minasini. <clears throat> well, Tommy Martinez comes in as, as if on cue. Next one in the order for the Wolverines. That one down to third baseline. Nice shot from Minasini as he does not stop. Goes for two. Oh! And the ball not in the glove as Anthony Martinez turns around to make the tag. I mean, who was there? He, he was there in plenty of time. Did not have the ball in the glove for the tag. And so Minasini will be safe. Now batting number seven. Second baseman, Kobe Rowling. Martinez looking back and saying, shouldn't be, shouldn't be. And so Rowling drops the bat down for the bunt attempts. Strike one. See if Martinez goes back to second again. It's Kawashima. It's kind of behind Menasini there. And that one just outside one and one. Bunt laying down, but goes foul. So everybody comes back. Rolling, doing his best to move Minasini to third. Tough air. Little fake out attempt by the Wolverines. As Kawashima slides over in front of the base runner and Martinez slides right behind him there to second. Take the pick attempt. Another pitch outside, two and two. It's 
Three and two now. The count to Kobe rolling. Number nine batter in the order. Again, shows the bunt, pitches outside, and rolling. We'll take the walk down to first base. Now batting for the Wolverines, number 30, shortstop Logan Prusky. Puski drops down the bunt with the big hop. And the runner is tagged as Martinez, or excuse me, as Elijah White makes the grab, kind of diving down, but holding on to it, getting the force. So the out is made. Puski reaches fielder's choice. Now batting number 11, left fielder Braden Frank. Runners at first and second for Folsom Lake in one out. Again, Sierra leads two to one here in the top of the seventh inning. And ball down to the dirt. Morris quickly recovers. And so both runners stay put. Two and all the count. Swing, hard hit, and the first baseman, Devin Carter, unable to field it. Lead runner comes, and the game is tied at two. Now batting for Folsom Lake, number one, Michael Ryan. And it looks like we're going to have a timeout at this point as the Wolverines coach is headed out to the mound to talk with Tommy Martinez. And no, actually, he's going to take the ball, and we're going to have a new arm coming in. You see who's coming? Oh, here we go. Sure. Now coming to the mound for Sierra College, number 32, Dylan Schmidt. So Dylan Schmidt replaces Tommy Martinez midway through seventh inning here. Olsen Lake puts one run up on the board, ties this one up 2-2. Two -two. And that is enough for Evo. Cannot let the game slide away. So he brings in Dylan Schmidt. Number three hitter, or the number three batter in the order for uh, Folsom Lake is on deck. That's Michael Ryan. And only one out. Thank you. 
Been a tight ball game for these two. Kind of going neck and neck. Nobody's uh, really gotten away with anything. Now batting for Folsom Lake, number one, Michael Ryan. First pitch. Surprisingly, ball one. You can hear some folks in the stands kind of wondering, hey, you've been calling that one a strike all day. What's up? That one, ball two. No doubt on that. There's the strike. No doubt, two and one. Number of folks in the stands today, again, Folsom Lake, just right down the road here. So there's strike two. Big swinging miss from Ryan. So a lot of fans, both sides. Swing, little chopper, and the first baseman, Devin Carter himself, able to make the grab for the out. In the meantime, Folsom Lake, runner scores. And so Falcons take the lead, 3-2. Now batting number 21, catcher Nate Vargas. Lone runner for the Falcons on second. That pitch outside, one and one. Pruski was the base runner on third. He was able to score again for the Falcons. He also was the, the first run on the board in the first inning. Strike two to Vargas. Two and two to the big catcher. Batting 373 and for the Falcons this year. And gets rung up to in the seventh, and, or to in the top of the seventh. Let's go to the middle as we get ready to stand up, stretch it out. And so here we are in the middle of the seventh inning. It is time to stand up and stretch it out. Come on, sing it along with me. A one and a two. Take me up to the ball game. Take me to the crowd. Buy me some peanuts and cracker jacks. Never get back. Planets, 
Oh, what a beautiful day for a ball game. Everybody getting their umbrellas out, drying them out from all of the rain last week, and they get some beautiful sun today. You get to just have a nice little bit of shade, just a perfect day, a little breeze blowing through. Perfect day in Rockland, Chamber of Commerce weather. And we got a tight ball game as Balsam Lake puts up two in the top of the seventh to take the lead, 3-2. Leading off the bottom of the seventh inning for your Wolverines, number 11, Anthony Martinez. First pitch to Martinez, strike one. Henninger still on the mound for Folsom Lake. Feels that just outside, one and one. Another one outside, two and one. So I hear the cheers coming from next door at the softball field. Always loud. Love the excitement coming from over there. Grounder goes foul off to the left-hand side. Count evens up two and two. Swing and a miss, and that will collect Tinas. Now batting for the Wolverines, number eight, third baseman Elijah White. Hitters are taking his time. Deal strike one. Again, big frame. You could see him up there on the mound. And 6'3", 230. Good size. This is that one low. One and one. Oh, okay. Catches the outside part of the plate, one and two. Gets a hold of that little grounder over to the shortstop, unable to field it correctly. Then with a sloppy throw over to first, means that Elijah White's going to get himself an extra base out of that. Now batting for the Wolverines, number seven, Brad Morris. I think it's 
Morris lines one to the third baseman, unable to field it. The shortstop unable to get it. Long throw coming in from left. You see White go down for the slide and uh, collects the catcher. Vargas is Vargas was trying to jump up, make the grab. I didn't see anything deliberate. Vargas was just trying to slide underneath. I mean, he was coming in low. There's not a lot you're going to be able to do with it. And it looks like the Sierra trainer able to come over. See, okay. Kind of a hard hit as he was uh, extended there and then had the feet taken out from underneath him. So in the midst of all that, run scores, and the game is tied. 3-3. Three, three. So instead, it looks like we're going to have a Pinch hitter coming in for Sierra. Pinch inning for the Wolverines, number 29, Brandon Graydon. So Graydon's... Pinch hits for Aiden Kolbeck. And sees strike one. Big swing and a miss for strike two. Again, we're here in the bottom of the seventh. All tied up. 3-3. Three, three. Graydon swings, popping that one up into shallow center. Runner able to get back in plenty of time. That's Morris out there, the catcher. Says, no problem, I got this. Now batting for the Wolverines, center fielder, Zach Jenkins. First pitch low, ball one to Zach Jenkins. Hard hit. Henninger, the pitcher, unable to field it, and that's going to score another one. Go ahead, run for the Wolverines. Mm -hmm. Now batting for Sierra College, left fielder Brady Brennello. Runner goes, and I think Jenkins was already there by the time the ball even got to the player. And that is an out. We're going to go to the top of the eighth. Sierra in the lead, 4-3.
Leading off the eighth inning for Folsom Lake, first baseman Max Dubiak. Wings, sending that one foul. 0 and 2 to the big first baseman. Swing misses, gets away. And What was the third strike will get him to first. Now batting, number zero, center fielder, Quincy Marlboro. Shows the bunt, pulls it back. Ball one. Getting that one inside, two and oh. Morris reaching around. Marlboro standing right there in the box. Again, that went inside a little too far, and the batter is hit, so he will take his base. And Dubiak walks to second. Now batting number nine, third baseman Tyler Allen. So now runners at first and second, no outs. Coach Evo says I'm coming out, and apparently so is the pitcher. So we'll have a new arm coming in for Sierra College. Set. 31, 31. Anthony. Now in the mound for Sierra College, number 31, Anthony Martinez. Well, two runners on. <laughs> Evo, not uh, letting things go too far. Any of these pitchers taking the short leech approach today and bringing in the next guy, do his part. Here comes Anthony Martinez for Sierra College. Freshman from Del Campo High School. Thank you. 
or appearances for the Wolverines, and he will be facing third baseman Tyler Allen. Now batting number nine, Tyler Allen. He can play again and long TBX led back. I think he could pretty much fall over from where he is and touch first base or touch second. Foul back. Oh, and one. Air strike two to Tyler Allen. Again, no outs and two on. Wolverines need the out here. Bunch or the uh, bunch shown, but pulls it back in time. One and two. There is strike three. Tyler Allen sits down with the K. Now batting number 28, designated hitter Austin Menacini. First pitch to Minasini catches the outside part of the plate there, 0-1. Swing, strike two. Austin, 5'11", sophomore from Vacaville. This is low, one and two. Hits it high up into right field. The catch is made. Both runners will stay. It was pretty shallow. And so out number two on the books. Now batting number seven, second baseman Kobe Rowling. Rolling turns on that. Did he go? No. Is the appeal made to the field umpire.
Big swing and a miss for the strike, one and one. And Sierra leads us one, four, three here in the top of the eighth inning. Pitch outside from Martinez, two and one. Another swing, two and two. Swing, that one pops up and back. Foul. Count remains two and two. Two outs, two runners on. Swing down. Check that swing, but uh, pitch was right on. Great job by Anthony Martinez coming in to shut that one down. Come back, bottom of the eighth. Wolverines in the lead, holding it for three. Now on the mound for Folsom Lake, number 23, Max Dubiak. Well, Max Dubiak, I mean, he looked like a pitcher. Let's face it. 6-7. He takes the mound himself here in the bottom of the eighth inning. Connor McClellan replaces him at first. He will face the 3-4-5 batters for Sierra College. Leading off the eighth inning for the Wolverines, shortstop Masayuki Kawashima.
First pitched Masa 1 and 0. Ryan Edwards is so. <laughs> Well, he had a good start. McLovin, McLovin. I, I see that. Thank you. Got some Folsom Lake fans in the house. Big fastball. Strike two. He just little grounder and the throw is made in time for the out. Now batting for Sierra College, number 25, Connor Smith. We're going to miss one and two to Smith now. Again, he's going to be followed by Devin Carter, the first baseman for Sierra. That pitch misses outside, two and two. Swing and a miss, and that will sit him down. Now batting for Sierra College, first baseman Devin Carter. Carter swings and misses. We come over, have a talk with the coach, saying, hey, <clears throat> check this out. Can you see what this guy is doing? Something to that effect. And the pitch down the middle strike two. Oh, and two to Devin Carter again. He's batting in the five spot today for Sierra. Reached on a walk in his first at bat. Hasn't seen first base since. Except on defense. That one just missed outside. You could hear some of the fans chanting, hey, what happened, Blue? And the infield was uh, evacuating. Everybody was coming in, thinking this one was over. Devin Carter, no, nah, I knew. Here we go. Swing, miss. And that one will end the eighth inning right there. We're going to go to the top of the ninth. Sierra in the lead, four, three. Look at this. The 
Katie? Now on the mound for the Wolverines, number 15, Caden Hunter. Well, Sierra going through a lot of pitchers today. Call on the efforts of Caden Hunter to come in in relief. I think this might be his first time in relief so far this year. Looks like a quick change here for the catcher. I think Brad Morris is pulling off his gear. Either switching to something else or I don't know if Connor Smith is coming in. We'll find out. One, there's two. Yes, indeed. That looks like Connor Smith there. So Brad Morris switches out. Connor Smith, who was the DH, I'm assuming is sliding back to the DH spot. I've seen Connor uh, catch with Caden most of the times. And it looks like we have Cohen Meyer now at second base for Sierra College. Now batting for Folsom Lake, number 30, shortstop Logan Prusky. So Cohen Meyer at second, a couple defensive changes. for the Wolverines. Looks like everybody else in the infield remains the same. There's strike one, one and one. Another strike. Swing and a miss. Caden Hunter knowing how to get those strikeouts. Now batting for the Falcons, number 11, left fielder, Braden Frank. First pitch to Frank, going to be a little high for ball one. Next pitch, down low, ball two. Caden Hunter, sophomore from Granite Bay. Two and one pitch. Chop foul, two and two. Swing and a miss. That's two Ks. Sierra needing one more strikeout for the win here against Folsom Lake. Game one of a three-game set. If you like this, game two is scheduled for Thursday out in Granite Bay. Or excuse me, Folsom Lake. 
There's strike one. Caden Hunter needing a couple of more. There's strike two. Caden Hunter needing one more strike for the win here in game one. Comes in, chin level, one and two. Nobody on top of the ninth. Popped up, coming back, and it looks like it you know, goes just behind the Sierra dugout where it lands. So another ball comes in. Michael Ryan, the right fielder. Pitch is high, two and two. Swing and a miss. And that is the ball game by a final score of four to three. The Wolverines take game one over the Folsom Lake College Falcons. Wanted to remind you, game two is coming up Thursday out in Folsom Lake. And that'll be followed by game three right back here on Friday. As the Wolverines take on Folsom Lake College, it's scheduled for a 1 p.m. start. We hope to see you then. And, of course, if you're not able to join us uh, live and in person, you can always join us on live stream each and every home game being li live stream this year. But game one of the series, the Wolverines walk away with the win once again, 4-3. We want to thank all of our fans for coming out and supporting your Sierra College Wolverines today and thank those fans who may have made the trip over from Folsom Lake or wherever you were here in the area to come and support your Falcons. We thank you all for supporting baseball here in Northern California and hope to see you again Friday. Thank you and good afternoon.